Hello, hello, beautiful souls. My name is Esther, also known as Schmexy Pants. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a YouTube video of any sort, and I want to get back into it. So I thought I would do a little reading for us today. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe, like, comment. I love to hear your feedback, and it really does help the channel. But anyway, let's get right into it. So I'm going to start by reading with my abstract Lenormand deck. So angels and guides, what would be the highest message for our collective to know today? What message would help us and guide us for our highest good going into this new year? Okay, so a few cards came out. So we have the anchor, the snake, and the masculine. So the masculine can be for any gender. It's just more the masculine energy. So with these cards combined, I'm getting that it's going to be important to balance kind of your animal nature and your desires with the practicality. So if you can do some grounding um, exercises, you know, to help you stay in the present and to take inspired action, that would be helpful. And also, you know, pour into your spiritual practice pour into journaling to get really clear on what it is that you want and that might help you move forward more quickly towards your desires towards your goals towards that transformation a lot of people when they see the snake they don't think of it as you know shedding old skins desires they think just deceit but i really get the sense here that it's about transforming and taking action but the need to kind of get steady first so let's see what's on the bottom of that deck the Sith. You know, I really see this as being a time for harvest. Um, I see on the card Knight of Diamonds, so that would correspond with the Knight of Pentacles and the Tarot. So it's a really grounded energy moving forward. It's just kind of about knowing when to act. And I really feel like the time is now. So let's ask a quick message before ending this video for your daily guidance. Okay. So the Eight of Swords. So this is a card very much about feeling trapped. But the truth is you're not really trapped. If you look at this figure here, they can move forward. They can move backwards. They can easily probably shake out of these binds. It's really about that mental trap, which is why, again, it's going to be really important to get that grounding in. So again, you can journal, you can meditate. I really like to go outside and touch the earth with my feet. It's winter in some places, so that's not possible. So even if you have a house plant in your house, playing with the leaves, all of these exercises that can really ground you, it's gonna help you to take that action and move forward. And I'm just curious to see what's on the bottom of this deck. Yeah, because it's almost like there's a fear of taking that leap but you're protected and you're guided and it is your time for harvest. So move forward fearlessly. Ask friends for help if you need. I see that dog there and know that you'll receive. And so that is your message. So I'm sending you lots and lots of love and have a beautiful day.